Okay guys, we're gonna be playing knockout today. And knockout is just a variation of basketball, but um, it utilizes single file lines. And by having those single file lines, we can fit three classes into the gym and we can all play it at the same time. Just so you understand the main concepts, on the far hoops over there by our banners, we always set those aside for sixth graders. The middle hoops on the sides here, we set aside for seventh graders. And the hoops closest to the whiteboard, we use for eighth graders. Now there are some periods where we'll have a lot more eighth graders than say seventh, so we can move some of our eighth over to seventh, or vice versa. I could move some of my seventh over to eighth. But the main concept is we never allow eighth to play with sixth. So eighth will never come from this side of the gym and go over to the sixth grade hoops over there. But sixth graders may be asked to move from their hoop on the side here and go to the middle to play with the seventh graders. But if that's the case, we won't put eighth graders over there. So that's our court layout. Main concept for the game is we're going to have two balls at each hoop. Now the two basketballs, you'll have one person in the front of the line, a whole line of people behind them, but the first person has a basketball, the second person has a basketball. As soon as the game starts, the first person will shoot the ball towards the hoop, and as soon as the ball leaves their hand, the second person can shoot. If the first person gets the ball in the hoop first, they go to the back of the line and they stay in the game. But if the first person shoots and misses, and the second person shoots and their ball goes in before the first person's, first person is out, they have to stand with their back against the wall for the rest of the game. They are knocked out. Now, if you're knocked out, your back is against the wall, you're not rebounding, you're not interacting with the game, because um, otherwise people will say that you're cheating. Once you are out, please just freeze against the wall. While you're waiting in line, please keep your hands to yourself. Please do not switch hoops. Please stay in order. Now, this sounds a little confusing, so we're gonna walk you through it, and please just get in line and watch the game for a little while, and you'll catch on. Please don't lose your temper at first, because you may get frustrated, and you may just be wrong because you don't understand. So give it some time, be patient. If you notice somebody keeps making the same mistakes or they're not getting out when they should, Go and find a coach and we will come over and we'll explain it to them or if it's a class-wide issue we'll explain it to the entire class all right i really hope you like knockout please pay attention to the hoops you're at because whenever it rains we'll have limited time so we may just come into the gym and say go to your knockout hoops and these hoops we station you at today should be the hoop you're at for the rest of the the year okay every time we have rain that's your rainy day knockout hoop thank you very much